I got officially diagnosed on December 12th, 2005. I'm 16 years old with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And I got through treatment and stuff and I went to school, got a degree in business and kind of pursued that route. But while those jobs were good, I worked in software and logistics. I, I felt a deeper calling to do something more, to do something to help people. And so I'm about four or five years out from treatment at this point when it just finally kind of hit me that I had kind of buried a lot of feelings about my own treatment and it just kind of surfaced. It was like, what did I go through? How did it affect me? I just really started to kind of think back on that. The only people that can kind of understand you in that situation are people that have gone through this. Getting diagnosed with cancer at the age of 16 or in your teens is a Rubicon. Few people have passed. When you're having a rough day, you can just be like, oh, I can't believe this chemo that I'm going through. It's, you know, it's, it's really kicking me today. Having somebody that can relate to that is, is really nice. I eventually found out about Amelia Baffa and her group of young adult cancer survivor and patients that would meet monthly. And so I got involved with that group. At first I started to really go for myself, but eventually I, I wanted to take on more of a role where I could kind of be a mentor. And I wanted to be there to show people that they weren't alone in this journey. To be here today in the Angie Fowler Institute where you have this beautiful space that is just welcoming. Having the ability to be on a floor that's prepared for immunocompromised individuals and then having the ability to go up on the roof, that's fantastic. I mean that honestly touches me because it, it was tough during those times when you're just stuck in a room just kind of wondering what the next day is going to bring and just being able to only ruminate with your thoughts. It's, it's huge to have a space where you can get out. Being able to at least enjoy yourself a little bit you know, being with people that are like me is, is just very helpful. That chance to know that you're not alone is humongous. I think the value of having an inpatient space similar in the vein to the Angie Institute is huge because, again, just pushing for this environment that inspires you, gives you hope, shows that UH has your back. I think that's fantastic.